Um, guys, do you consent? Are you guys at least 13 years of age? If you're not, get the fuck out of the stream! Chat, I'm gonna need you to say it with me. I'm gonna need to see an I agree in the chat. Please, uh, uh, E sign by saying I agree in the chat. All right. You guys agree. Sick. Slicky dicky. Hey. I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. I do know that. I know what that's like. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. Damn. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. Damn. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. What voice do I give her? I don't have as many voices because of my voice is all fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the intent of this, huh? I overslept again. But I caught you this time. Maybe. But only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Is that my- should I just have my voice? Should I just have my voice for Tokinoki? <laughs> you say that like you're thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Tokinoki. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, e even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a fucking cupcake. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here! I told you, don't, don't call me, don't call me, don't call me a new member. Ugh. I glance around the room. God, what, what voice do I give her? <clears throat> She's kind of a little sexy with her purple hair, right? So. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Oh, God. <laughs> What's her voice? Fuck. Seriously, you brought a boy? What, what do I make her voice? What do I give her? What do I give her? <laughs> Who? What? Girl too? Pink girl? What does she get? <laughs> Seriously, you brought a boy? Oh fuck! More voices. God, she's got tickle bitties too. Fuck. What? What do we do with this? Sex this one too. Oh, Tokidoki. What a nice surprise. <laughs> Welcome to the club. Oh, hell no. <laughs> so, Tokidoki, what kind of things do you like to read? Yeah, uh, yeah. Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Uh, manga? Fucking weed. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change for them tickle bitties, girl! What am I saying? 
I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile on her titties. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. Like the rim of my butthole. <clears throat> with that, the two of us depart to the club room, depart the club room, and make our way home. We make our way home, not to the club room. We're going home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. The last two have tickled biddies. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the same chance to go closer to one of these girls. <laughs> All right. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. I guess I'd follow Smarcy Bacon. Oh, shit. It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member would like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Suicide. Okay. Hmm. What am I aiming for here? I believe in friendship before fucking. But I'm really interested in looking up that skirt, though. Ah, uh, let's see. But it's really dark outside. And I need to save the puppy. Because... Despite all my rage, I'm still just a rat in a cage. But, uh... Uh... We're playing a game! And it's making me miserable. Uh... And however, I, I do appreciate the sound that uh, that one girl makes in that other thing where she goes, Yeah! When the fireworks happen. Yeah. Uh, uh, Twitch. Well, back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everybody else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Tokinoki. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive head first into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on! Like, he deserves any slack. Sayori told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it! Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Mm -mm. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga's literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys! Tokinoki always gives his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Sayori, that's because your room is so messy that it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Tokinoki can become great friends, too. Uh, um... Sayori... Hmm? As usual, as usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh! Uh, Yuri even brought you something today, you know? Wait, wait, Sayori. Uh, me? Uh, not really. Don't be shy! It's, it's really nothing. What is it? Never mind. Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. 
Uh, what do I do? I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place, so any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is... is that so? Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. All right. I start to button her blazer from the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. It's fucking angle, dude. <laughs> this is so funny. What is? Well, I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kinds of things. Eh. Don't say that. Don't make me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay, though. I'm happy we're like this. Aren't you? Yeah. I get. I guess. Hey, be careful. The button might come off. Why is this one so hard to close? I struggle to fully close the button near her chest. Does this thing even fit you properly? <laughs> it did when I bought it. Ugh. If you ever buttoned it, you would have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? It means my boobs got bigger again. What is this shit? Don't say that out loud, you fucking god! You trying to Harvey Weinstein me, dog? <laughs> anyway, you look much better now, so, uh. Why does it feel so strange as you see Ori's blazer buttoned up like that? But it's so stuffy. Ugh. It's not worth it at all. Sayori hastily unbuttons her blazer once more. <sighs> That's so much better. Toki Noki! Ready to walk home? Yeah, I'm sure, let's go. <laughs> Sayori beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayori and I had spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. You know, Tokinoki. It's nice that I get sp to spend time with you in this club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you too. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun! Looks like Sayori still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. I'm just trying to fuck on Yuri. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but... Does it really need to stop there? Have you seen them titties? Well, just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. Okay! Yeah, let's do this. Aw, oh, shit, I'm writing more fucking poems. I guess I'll be sticky. A sticky sensation that's really warm and unending. Uh, it makes me want to disown you. I, I, I giggle at the thought of disowning you. Um, giggling gives me comfort. But the second I look at my view count and realize how many people are watching me do this silly voice shit, I, my, my confidence goes poof. I wish I could sing, but my voice is fucking gone right now. That's why my voice keeps on cracking while I'm doing high-pitched voices. I feel disoriented in my own voice. I have a salad next to me. So I guess parfait. Um... I want to twirl. Uh, I want to see your inner swimsuit. That should be heaven sent, doggy. I'm gonna massacre that pussy. I'm not gonna say anything about that one. Uh, let's party. Let's party. Let's let's get fucked up. 
I'm an intellectual though, dog. Don't worry. Hi, Tokinoki. Yo. <gasps> I just got booped on my snoot. That was very cute. Good boy. You're a good boy. That that got that was precious. I think Yuri might be like the most boring as of now. But um I like looking for really stupid keywords when doing her voice. Like uh she says things like long and short and hot and like stuff like that a lot. So I like to just put emphasis on that since I gave her this really weird like sexy voice. So that makes her fun for me. But I guess yeah, she is probably one of the like more boring ones. She just laid down on top of my router, and I was like, that's not a good idea, dude. I got a fluffy doggo. I got a mop dog. Mochi, look at them. Over there. Yeah, good girl. Good girl.